हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई केमिस्ट्री चैनल बी एल दास शॉर्ट एंड स्वीट इन केमिस्ट्री नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द टॉपिक दर इज कन्फर्मेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोकार्बन कन्फर्मेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोकार्बन दर इज आल्के एंड रिलेटेड क्लास इलेवेंथ एक्चुअली आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लेन आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लेन द इंट्रोडक्शन टू कन्फर्मेशन वट इज कन्फर्मेशन वाई द कन्फर्मेशन टेक्स प्लेस इन आल्केन नॉट आल्किन एंड आल्काइन एंड एक्चुअली आल्केन कंटेन्स कार्बन कार्बन सिंगल बॉन्ड दिस कार्बन कार्बन सिंगल बॉन्ड दैट इज एक्चुअली कोवलेंट बॉन्ड इट इज कोवलेंट बॉन्ड नाउ इफ यू सी इथेन इथेन कंटेन सिंगल बॉन्ड All are single bond, C H C S C S C C. But the point is that here, uh, this is not a simple single bond because the, this carbon, this carbon sp three hybridization, this carbon also undergoes sp three hybridization. Now this sp three hybrid orbital of carbon overlaps with this sp three hybrid orbital of this carbon, and that gives a sigma bond. That is a covalent bond. And sigma bond. How it is formed? It is uh, it is formed by overlapping of sp three carbon sp three carbon. Now this is one sigma bond. Similarly, others are also that is ch ch. How many ch are there? That is six ch. And now ch bond that is also sigma bond. But this overlapping and this overlapping is different. That means ch overlap. How it takes place? sp3 hybrid orbital of carbon overlaps with 1s orbital of hydrogen see so here this hydrogen and here it gives the sigma bond and what is that sp3 s hydrogen and so there are three two types of bond one is sp3 sp3 that is carbon and carbon and second one is uh, that is how many bonds it is only one sigma and here sp3 and s of hydrogen and that is ch and that is a covalent bond that is sigma bond and it it gives six sigma bond and here uh, what is the meaning uh, sigma bond how so six sigma bond uh, one sigma bond so here this is sp3 uh, hybrid or uh, sp3 hybridization takes place in carbon and here also uh, overlapping c c c that is sp3 hybrid orbital overlapping and here sp3 hybrid orbital of uh, carbon and with s orbital of hydrogen so you can understand here uh, two one three hydrogen left side and three hydrogen right side both are uh, all are sigma bond that is it is overlapping of this sp3 sp3 sigma bond and c c sigma bond that is c c and here sp3 s that is also sigma bond and that is ch that how many this is six times this is one times so this is the structure of uh, one this is the sigma bond and these are all sigma bond so i hope the structure is clear and then come to here that how the uh, conformation takes place then why now you can observe here in ethan specially you can see all are sigma bond so atoms can rotate how atoms having sigma bond can rotate about the axis of the bond because here this is a bond and now here this carbon this carbon this is very simple and here this three and here also this three so the carbon without affecting the overlap of the orbital now atoms can rotate here because in middle that is a sigma bond that is a single covalent bond rotation about the carbon carbon bond is quite free this carbon and carbon you can rotate you can feel how many infinite number of structures can be formed by a small rotation from one side to other the large number of different special arrangement of atom groups of atoms attached to carbon atom are possible a infinite number of uh, rotation can be possible because a very small rotation gives one particular structure in space that is special arrangement so these different special arrangement and that is here um, called that conformation isomers or rotational isomers 
so conformation isomers or rotational isomers mean what that single covalent bond can rotate between one carbon and other carbon and by small rotation it gives a number of infinite number you can say infinite number of uh, structures a small rotation from one side to other side if will give by a small rotation again small rotation infinite number of um, structure form in space that is special arrangement and so it is called conformational isomers it is called conformational isomer or rotational isomer i hope it is clear because there is there are so many infinite number of uh, um, structures possible in space that is why it is a special arrangement that is called conformational isomer or rotational isomer in alkane covalent bonds are formed when you see ethane i also told that a y covalent bond form because the covalent bond that is sigma bond here and sp3 sp3 overlapping sp3 s overlapping similarly one sigma and six sigma with carbon and hydrogen one sigma between carbon and carbon possible i hope it is clear why it is called uh, uh, conformation isomer or rotation isomer because here uh, with a single bond the carbons the hydrogen the carbon atoms can rotate between c and c c c and c here you can see the carbon atom uh, single bond can rotate very small rotation and gives a number of infinite number of compounds infinite number of structure in space so how many numbers are there there are total 6 sorry 6 plus 1 7 sigma bond form now you can see the single bond gives freedom of rotation due to single bond here it forms freedom of rotation can rotate can rotate and due to symmetry of axis you can see there is a symmetry of axis and now that is why it can rotate here it can rotate like this it can rotate like this then until it comes to here and here then rotation will stop so rotation about cc bond is possible give different arrangement of atoms or groups and that are attached to carbon called conformation conformational isomer when number are formed that is conformational isomer and the phenomena is called uh, conformational isomer rotation around cc bond becomes very easy is not completely free but again come to point it is not free because due to weak repulsive force repulsive interact between the bonds or electron pair of bonds or adjacent carbon atom that mean here what happened so till now we know that it is very easy to rotate carbon carbon single bond and it gives a very small rotation also gives so many infinite number of rotation structure in space but again it is told is not completely free why not completely free weak ripples force interact between the bonds and electron pair of the bonds that means here the electron pair the bond is formed this electron pair having repulsive force repulsive interaction and adjacent carbon atom so because in ethane two carbon atoms are there one carbon atom and other carbon atom between also that electron pair repulsion takes place uh, but it is not so uh, highly uh, that is very weak force and such repulsive force interaction is called torsional strain that mean it is okay uh, due to single covalent bond it is uh, it is forming so many uh, so many uh, structures in space and but here also some weak force which uh, uh, which helps to uh, not uh, rotate completely that mean here weak repulsive interaction takes place between electron pair of bonds between either in carbon itself or between one carbon and other adjacent carbon here the repulsive force takes place and that is repulsive interaction or force that is called torsional uh, strain now 
uh, I hope it is clear what is mean by confirmation, what is the role of ethane in confirmation, how the single covalent bond is formed uh, due to different type of overlapping and what is personal strain. I hope it is clear to you and hope you will subscribe my channel uh, BL the short and sweet in chemistry. Thanks for watching my video. Thanks again to all.